What's up guys, my name is Tor and today I'm back with a new video. As you can see right in front of me is the Royal Clutch keyboard. This is a keyboard that I ordered on Amazon for around 50 bucks and um, I usually don't make this kind of videos but today I was like, you know, I bought this and I really want to show you guys because it's an awesome keyboard. I already opened it but I'm still going to review it and see what's inside and stuff. So you guys also know. I'll also do a clicking test at the end. I'll put time steps uh, underneath in the description of the video so you can see when I'll do everything. Okay, so let's get started. So the Royal Clutch keyboard is, um, as you can see from Royal Clutch, Duh. which is a pretty good brand. Um, I wouldn't say the box is like the best quality, but as you can see, there are a couple of things broken. Uh, I mean like a little crack or stuff and it's Chinese text so let's open this okay so right away when you open the box you have the gaming keyboard uh, which I will put on the side right here and uh, further than that we just have some instructions and uh, a keycap puller and a cable to charge it or connect it to your computer okay I'll put the box somewhere Okay, so let's start by looking at the main thing, which is the keyboard. It's wrapped in this pretty safe and nice cover thing, uh, so you just have to take it out. This is the keyboard. You have them in two versions, black and white, uh, and I ordered the white one just because they said the RGB looks better. I'll also show you all the versions of RGB on this keyboard. Okay, so right away when you look at it, it's a 61% 60, keyboard. That's why the name RK61. It has this Royal Clutch logo on the right side underneath the keyboard. And uh, I have to say that it looks really clean. I mean, there's nothing else except for the keys and of course the um, plastic, the plastic, <coughs> and of course the plastic form around it. So when you turn around the keyboard, you have four nice stamps. You can't put the keyboard higher just because, as you might see, it goes from low to high. We have this nice sticker here, uh, an extra Royal Clutch logo with the motto on it, the RK61. And yeah, as you can see, maybe not, it's made in China. You have here an on-off button, which technically is for uh, Bluetooth, so let's turn that on. And when you turn around the keyboard, you see that the RGB is lit up. I also ordered keycaps, which are not here yet, and that might be a video for in the future. But yeah, the keycaps are sick, and I can't wait to put them on this incredible keyboard. Okay, so uh, these are, let me take the cable and the uh, keycap puller out. So the cable is, uh, as you can see, I don't know what kind of cable this is, but it's basically the same that I charge my phone with, uh, and you have to plug that in right in front of the keyboard. Uh, for the rest, there's nothing else to know, it's a USB, so yeah, it's easy to plug in, and uh, let's check which uh, switches on are on this keyboard as you can see uh, i'm gonna turn it off for the rgb so you can see it a little bit better as you can see these are cherry mx blue switches which are very clicky and actually pretty loud which you'll hear in the uh, click test but they have a really nice feeling and the keys are actually pretty sturdy on uh, on top of it so yeah it's it's holding pretty nice so the part that you have probably all been waiting for is the sound test of course just type a little bit and you guys can hear how it sounds So as you can hear, it's really clicky, and uh, as I said, it's because they're Cherry MX Blues, and those are usually louder than the rest. You can also order this keyboard for uh, Cherry MX Browns and Cherry MX Reds, but I chose the blue one just because, I don't know, <laughs> they just sounded better or stuff, I don't know, I just chose that one. Okay, so let's look at the RGB for a second, 
I am really impressed by the RGB because I mean look at this this is high quality RGB for a gaming keyboard under $60 I think it was uh, and this just looks amazing so as you can see the mode right now is going around uh, but you have a lot of different ones so let's go through them Okay guys, so that was all the RGB. Now I'm gonna give you a quick like reflection on this keyboard. Just because I switched from a full 100% keyboard to the 60% keyboard. And uh, maybe some of you want to buy this keyboard too. I'll put a link uh, in the description to buy it. Uh, but yeah, some of you might also want to buy this. There's one quick thing that I want to say and that is it will be a little bit confusing the first time you you try it that's because you know it gets smaller you don't have the uh, number pad you don't have the arrows and a lot of keys are combined on one key so that's basically everything I had to say about this keyboard it's an awesome keyboard I'm really happy with it uh, I'll probably keep it for the rest of my life no just joking <laughs> but it's a really good keyboard it's uh, very sturdy there's no flex uh, at all so yeah, if you want to buy a gaming keyboard, this is the one. That was the video guys, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.